everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Sam Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. Now, when was the last time we did a true Dollar Tree slash Dollar 25 tree haul? It's been a minute because I'm not paying $1.25 for a lot of stuff. So, I found some fun stuff, but I've definitely cut back on my shopping because I'm not buying any soaps. I'm not buying any moisturizers or anything like that so i've i've really cut back but i will show you what i did get so the first thing that i got i actually bought one for me and i gifted one to a friend is this super cute kitty puff pen so they have this in three colors at first i just got the pink because i think the yellow with the pink was the best one um they do have it in blue but as you can see, the blue on blue is not as spectacular as the yellow on pink. And they did have a purple one, which I did not get, which you guys probably are like, what? You know, purple is your favorite color. But the purple had red glasses and I just was not digging it. So I picked up these two pens. They actually write really well. I know there's concern with the novelty pens that they don't write properly, but they've been doing better with the, the uh, poof pens. So there are those, they have no smell. Then I picked up a Power Stick Zero Aluminum Ammonia Free, no, not Ammonia Free, Aluminum Free. This is the Power Stick for her Cucumber Mint Deodorant. You could always use deodorant, right? And this has, is this clear? It's clear. And it does have this nice cucumber mint smell, which is like it has a fresh smell. Um, so I'm going to try that out, the, uh, the power stick for her. I usually like the men's deodorants better. Then I finally found the stick lighters. They have these uh, neon brand stick lighters come in different colors. I got the green one. This is refillable. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. Um, it does have like a little switch there. I think that's like a child. Yeah, it's like a childproof lock. Um, so yeah, I picked up one cause I've not tried the neon brand before. It's a brand name. I guess it's gotta be better than green briar. Who knows? Um, so I did get a stick lighter. Um, I did pick up one of these. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It says bunnies be hopping. I think I'm going to put my um, pocket backs in here or use it for some purpose. I mean, yes, it's Easter, but I guess bunnies be hopping all year round. So I picked up that. Then I did get um, some Easter decor. I did not get a lot of decor because I was not going to overdo it this year. I did pick up this cute, I'm putting this, I think, on the front door. I did get this super cute Easter bunny with his little bow tie and his giant carrot. That sounds dirty. Um, so yeah, so he has a big bow tie and a giant carrot. He's got a little mustache there. They should have moved the bow tie down more. The bow tie is inflicting upon his mustache, upon his whiskers. Yeah, so I got this bunny for the door. Then the other two pieces of decor, I was going to put this on the front door. So this says Happy Easter and it has the little tin uh, foil bunny and it has the glitter there. Does the glitter come off? Yeah, I'm going to have to put hairspray on it. So there's that. And then I got this. This is good for all year round because it's like that country farmhouse decor. Um, this says bunny trail farms farm fresh eggs and produce established 1925 open daily nine to five locally grown so this really you can hang in your kitchen all year round uh, as a country kitchen piece and it it's a pretty nice piece so i'm sure bark and bethany and all of those diyers could do a better job you know making uh, a better one out of uh dollar tree products anyway I picked this up. I always keep motivational stuff in my hallway um, so that I can look at it before I leave for my day. So they have this cross. This is faith. 
they had one that said pray but the one that said pray i uh, i didn't like the color scheme it was very dark so i just got this one that said faith that was not in the easter section that was in like the regular decor section let's see let me make a pile here so then i picked up you know me with the air freshener. I wanted to try this. This is not air freshener. This is Odo Ban. This is eliminates odors, disinfectant, fabric, and air freshener, and original eucalyptus. This says kills human coronavirus in 60 seconds. So disinfectant. I figured that would be candy to keep around the house. It just kind of smells like, uh, it says original euc eucalyptus. Yeah, kind of lemony, eucalyptus-y smelling. I picked up this um, pen. It's I don't know how well this one will write. It's like a jewel pen. I've been, uh, my coworker got me into the, the novelty pens lately. So I, I picked up one of those. Then the, I always see this brand that makes like fake eyelashes. I don't know how this is going to be. This is a fate, uh, finishing spray by the Tony company that makes the eyelashes. So this is face finishing spray. I mean, how can you really mess up a finishing spray unless it smells disgusting? It's really small. That's really small, but the box makes the spray look so big. Let's see. How does it smell? Doesn't feel like there's a lot of product in there. It smells, it smells okay. I don't know how it's going to do as a finishing spray. I figure, all right, I'll try it out. I see, I see people hauling. I see, I see. Um, sound like foghorn leghorn. I see people hauling the Tony brand brand uh, lashes all the time. So I figured, you know, I tried the finishing spray. So now we have what I said I wasn't going to get, which is makeup because I have to declutter. So they have this new company out there, a new company to the Dollar Tree. This is Iman. And I'm, I don't know if this is David Bowie's wife, Iman. I was able to find two colors in the Iman uh, collection. They did have foundation and pencils and stuff. The foundation was way too dark, way too dark for my skin color. Um, so I don't know if this is Iman's brand, I mean, I was a little, I didn't know that flower was Drew Barrymore's brand. So the first one that I was able, able to find was this color called Iman nude, which is a nude color. Let's see. What it, that's what it looks like. And it has the, her name Iman stamped into the uh, lipstick. So that's nude. And then I was able to find this other one at a different Dollar Tree. And this is uh, hipster. It's a little darker, it's still in the brown family. This feels very dry. So let's see how this one looks. This is very dry. Oh, This smells weird. This one hipster, this this feels old. It smells like chemicals. Oh, no, I wouldn't wear this. See, this is why I don't buy Dollar Tree makeup. Mm -mm. It has, it smells, 
It smells and feels like a melted crayon. I don't know how old that is, but that is just awful. I tried the nude one and see how that one is because that one went on smoother. But that, that hipster one is nasty. So. so this one is nude. That's a lot better. So apparently the nude one, Iman Nude, is okay. But this other one, Hipster, this this has definitely gone bad. This is like old. You could smell this. Is, it's, it smells putrid. Putrid. So that is going in the garbage. The nude one is okay. Um, then I have this, um, this is why I have to learn to stay away from Dollar Tree makeup. Stay away from the Iman products. Don't even bother. Don't even bother. Um, so I found this is L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal. Oh, by the way, those were sealed. I opened them up before the video. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints, number 300. Let's see how this is. I can't see what my damn glasses on. That goes on well. I don't know if I'm nuts about the color. It's this odd purple makes me look like I'm dead. Like I've got frostbite. I don't know. So then I have an LA Colors. Let me tell you, I tried the LA Colors eyeshadow again for uh, a revisit. And LA Colors eyeshadow... It just, the formula is bad. It's like, um, it doesn't, it's not very pigmented. It doesn't blend well. So just don't, just stay away from the LA Colors. So I did try, I never tried an LA Colors cream gel blush. So I figured I'd try this one. There are very, very few. I do have like a liquid eyeshadow from I think LA Colors or something. There are, and and Hard Candy is pretty good, but there are very few makeup products in Dollar Tree that are good that are worth purchasing again. So this is going to be the Cream Gel Blush. This is sealed. So it was in a package sealed and now it's sealed again. I gotta take off this damn lipstick. cannot get this aluminum foil off here. Wait, you know what? Where's my knife? I had a knife. Here we go. Uh, it's just like oozing. It's oozing everywhere. It looks like Pepto-Bismol. So... Yeah, this is going to make you look like a clown. So it's very liquidy. You don't have to use a lot, but a lot comes out. A lot comes out and it pours out. Look, another reason not to buy the damn makeup from the Dollar Tree. And the more I try to get this stupid tab off, the more this blush comes out and it just, you just, it just oozes and oozes.
look, I'm not even squeezing. I'm not even squeezing the damn tube and it comes out. It's, it's just like, it's a serious mess. So, yeah, the, I would say you don't need the cream gel blush. Unless you're going as a clown to something. So, this is another reason why I must stop buying Dollar Tree makeup. That is another makeup fail. Let's keep trying now. So, this is the Na Maybelline. Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. Cream to matte formula with precision blender, full coverage, and this is in ivory. No, I didn't get ivory. I got porcelain. I thought I got ivory. I got porcelain. Okay. So that's what it looked like before I ripped open the package there. So this is, it's a, I guess it's a stick. And then you, it, this side is the blending side. And this is the stick. So that's the foundation side. And let's see the stick. That's not bad. That's not bad. Look, it blends pretty well. I guess I'm porcelain. So that's pretty good. So the, the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Stick. I'll, I'll be using that. And then the last thing that I picked up, I, I basically, I gave away all of my, um, lip glosses i just uh so i just got one because i had to get it it's the lip smacker matcha latte i'm going to show you what that looks like before i open it i don't know how you get the uh how do you get the the thing out of here how do you get the where does the lip gloss come out that's kind of what I want to find out. So this is what it looks like. Lip smacker matcha latte. Oh, it's like an EOS thing. It feels like an EOS. It smells nothing like matcha latte. It's super cute though. And I'll use it, but it does not smell or taste or anything like matcha latte. Has no, no scent. Unscented. Okay. So, that's going to be the end of the Dollar Tree haul. This is why, and then they're charging us $1.25 now. And do you see the products getting better? I don't see the products getting better. So remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you all in a future video, but until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.